Day D Tower Rush is your typical tower defence game. There are waves of varying enemies that come from multiple entry points and it's up to you to manage your resources and build your defences. The game does not bring anything new to the genre of tower defence but it is a solid entry held back by microtransactions. The gameplay of Day D is simple and easy to use. The touchscreen works fairly well except for the occasional problem when the wrong icon is pressed by accident. This makes the targeting system difficult as the Vita will not always register the input which you wanted it to. The amount of weapons at your disposal is quite high with multiple turrets to choose from, each having numerous upgrades available. There are also various geo weapons which act as super moves, killing plenty of enemies. The game looks very crisp on the Vita screen. The song which plays during each battle is great, but it's a shame that the soundtrack does not consist of any more songs, and it would also be nice if DayD allowed you to play your own custom music. DayD's best quality is its length. There are plenty of levels in the game. The amount of content provided for the low price is definitely generous. There are also a lot of easy trophies to collect. However, the game's main problem is also to do with money, and that's because the game strongly resembles a pay-to-play model, even though you have to pay for the game initially. This problem is evident with the iVolve system. iVolve is a currency in the game used to upgrade weapon efficiency as well as health. The issue is that you hardly receive any of it for completing missions, so upgrading items takes way too long. This problem is enlarged by the fact that prices for upgrading items are way too high. This is all designed to encourage microtransactions. The worst part about the iVolve system is that certain turret locations are blocked out behind an iVolve paywall. This is infuriating as a lot of these locations would be really great to use but are unaffordable without using actual money. Simply put it, the iVolve system is horrible. Day D is a good game buried under an unfriendly business model. If you don't add additional funds, the game becomes extremely and unfairly hard. This makes the game disappointing on a number of levels. For this reason, the game gets a low D grade. The mechanics of the game are really fun, but due to the monetary system, I can only recommend the game to hardcore strategy fans. Do you have any opinions on monetary systems in games? If so, let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching.